Welcome back to another episode of Happy Hour on the Filmaholic channel. I'm Matthew, this is Abel, and today we have some interesting stories that came over the past week, and uh, let's start with the Fast and the Furious 9 trailer. Um, the trailer has not came out yet, it will be dropping today, and so far we've gotten a teaser for the trailer, which is about 50 seconds, I believe. Um, Bell, what is your thoughts on this teaser trailer, or this teaser of a trailer, rather? About they gonna take a quarter of a mile out of my life. I was about to fucking do. Yeah, this teaser, uh, it it sucked. Um, it was not good. And now, don't get me wrong, I'm still excited for the trailer. Still I mean, what what, what do you think? Like, but, I thought this teaser was 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 from on the spot. They were like, ah, oh, shit, <laughs> we gotta do something quick. <laughs> oh yeah, we need to put a teaser for the actual trailer. We need to do that, like. I am a little surprised. The kid looked older than I thought. I, I guess I hadn't even thought about like um, how old the kid would be in this film. But the last one came out in twenty. Was it twenty seventeen? Okay, so I guess the kid looks about three. I guess it adds up. I was thinking it came out twenty eighteen. Came out twenty seventeen. Uh, so some times pass. This kid's getting older. Uh, just takes us back to the fact that they th- these movies have terrible screenplays. <laughs> just the dialogue in this teaser was awful uh not really the the stuff with the with dom you, it's the typical stuff with him that like it was whatever uh him talking to the kid but the stuff when letty comes in and she's like i'm gonna give you this like necklace that your dad gave me it's gonna protect you from what's to come i i don't know like what the, oof bad I thought Vin Diesel's, I thought Dom was going to go like, are you fucking threatening us right now? Are you threatening the kid? What's happening? We, fam- we family right now. And I was wondering, like, is a, is a truck or a car going to, like, fly through the bedroom, like, and, and grab the kid? I don't know. Like, mixed with Transformers, what's about to happen? Charlie's Theron's, like, rotting uh, Optimus Prime. I... <sighs> what is this movie going to be? And then also... So the end of the teaser, it says, like, F9 or, or some shit. And then, like, it comes up at the bottom and says, The Fast Saga. So they're, like, adding it. Like, they're labeling it, like, a new new thing. I don't think they were talking like that about uh, first. The ninth film in The Fast Saga. You had to remind me about the fucking title. If that is the fucking title. What? what <laughs> Fast Saga? Yeah, imagine if that is the you title. You think that's the title? Imagine if it is. I can't. That doesn't even make sense. Because with this franchise, you cannot you cannot count it out. You cannot. Oof. Okay. Let's I mean, on like, to... can you can you imagine if these like if these fools like 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 I don't know like named all the world wars. Like what is it? I can't imagine. War, war, war one. Then like, what is it? Two. What is it? Two wars, two worlds. Like, it, it's gonna. <laughs> I don't know. Just get, okay, like, like, you know what? Let's just get in the car and move on to the next topic. All right, and the next topic is a Transformers topic. <laughs> um, so they are making or they're working on screenplays for two new Transformers films. Uh, Now, whether these will both get made, we're not sure. Um, But uh, one is being written by Joby Harold, who wrote uh, that recent King Arthur movie that came out a couple, was it 2017, I think? Something like that. Uh, Didn't watch it, didn't look good to me. But how was it? What do you think, man? All right. Uh, And the next one is being written by James Vanderbilt, uh, which, you know, on the article it says, the writer of Zodiac. And I'm like, okay, okay, that's interesting. Then you look, then then you go and look at the other films he, he wrote, though, not just Zodiac, okay? Zodiac came out in 2000, I think, seven. Uh, this guy wrote that. He went on to write uh, The Amazing Spider-Man, which, not bad. It was solid, solid, solid. respectable. Then he went on to write The Amazing, well, he wrote the story for Amazing Spider-Man 2, and then he went and made 
wrote uh, Independence Day Resurgence. And most recently, he wrote Murder Mystery with Adam Sandler. Starring Adam Sandler. So, yeah. It's definitely the guy that I want to... Uh, to God! <laughs> To, to write the next Transformers film, uh, I, I can I can definitely see why they're putting Zodiac in there next to his name, and and the Joe, Joby Harold guy, they put next to him like a film like in the article that hasn't even came out yet. We don't even know like what that movie is. It's like okay, he, he's only wrote uh, two films, King Arthur and then another film that came out in two thousand and seven. So uh, okay, first of all, let's talk about this too. So one of these films is apparently a follow-up to Bumblebee. I don't know if it's exactly a Bumblebee 2 or if it's a – I know at one point they were talking about maybe an Octopus Prime movie that's actually like a sequel to Bumblebee, but you know the lead switches but still has Bumblebee in there. Uh, I would be interested in that. That's kind of what I want them to do because I really liked Bumblebee a lot. Um, that's the film that I'd be most interested in next. And then the other film they're working on, and it doesn't say who's writing what, but the other film that they're working on is a revamp. That's the word they use. A revamp of the uh, the Transformers movies with all the characters. Now, this revamp could be a continuation of the Michael Bay films, but just a new story. Kind of like, I feel, I don't know. I can't really say because I didn't watch four or five of the Transformers movies, the ones with Mark Wahlberg. But I felt like that was kind of a revamp of the franchise, but still a continuation. Um, so we don't know if it's going to be something like that or if it's going to be a straight reboot or whatever it is. But to me, I'm hoping they just continue with the Bumblebee sequel and just stop. With, I don't know why we need two Transformers movies to be working, being created right now anyways. Make this Bumblebee sequel. If that does well, if people respond to that, then lead that up to a new revamped uh, movie with all the Transformers and just, you know, have Bumblebee be the start of that new uh, series of Transformers films. I know it's supposed to be a prequel to the Bay films, but who says they have to stay to that? Well, we got to sell toys. Uh... We gotta sell toys, man. And I also feel like I think his name is Travis Knight. I think he he directed uh, Bumblebee, and he probably isn't coming back to make whatever the next film is, which is disappointing. Yeah. Fun fact: you know he was a rapper. Travis Knight. I did not know that. Yeah, it's bad. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Uh, yeah, maybe Michael Bay will come back and like just direct both of these back to back, and they'll go on like Netflix or something. Uh, Universal will be like, I can't do it anymore. We can't do it. Or Paramount. Paramount needs something. They have nothing. I don't even know who's making these Transformers movies anymore. Uh, is it Universal or is it Paramount? Paramount. <sighs> I mean, I think all they have left is just what A Quiet Place and Mission Impossible. And some Nickelodeon shit. They got Star Trek. <laughs> well, not until Tarantino comes and directs that movie for them. Nah, he's not making that movie. That's another thing. That whole franchise is, is all over the place right now, which that could be a topic for another time, really. But, um, so, yeah, so that's, that's the Transformers news here. Uh, they were going to move on to... This is a little one. I don't know. Have you ever watched the original or the John Carpenter's The Thing from the 80s? Uh, it's a great horror film. If you guys haven't watched it, go check it out. Um, it's got Kurt Russell in it. Uh, really good film. Especially if, if Do you like the original Halloween? So, yeah, definitely go check this film out. Uh, it's called The Thing. And it's actually the second film... Uh, to be based off this book, the original was an RKO uh, film back in, uh, I think it was like maybe the 30s. Sorry. Um, oh. Sorry. What, what's Wrestling. up? Wrestling. Oh. Okay. Um, 
So yeah, it's the second film to be based off this novel. So this they're remaking it, right? So which when I first saw the article, I was like, man, this sucks. We, why do we need a remake of the thing? They already tried to do like a prequel of the thing back in like 2011. It didn't really work. People didn't really care. Uh, so now they're rebooting it again, but this time they're saying they want to be more faithful to the book, which is interesting. Um, and the final topic that we're going to talk about here is some more news for the Batman. Um, people have been wondering who Peter Sarsgaard is playing. Um, the biggest rumor is that he's been going to play Harvey Dent or, you know, better known as Two-Face, uh, which to me, this, I'm not really that happy about it. i would have preferred a different actor to play Harvey Dent. Um, I also hope that if Harvey Dent is in the movie, it's just Harvey Dent, that he's not Two-Face in this film, at least not until the end of the film, setting up a sequel. But WB has came out and said that Peter or Peter Skarsgård is, uh, Skarsgård is playing Gotham D.A. Gil Coulson. He's not playing um, Harvey Dent, but he is playing Gotham's D.A. in the film. So... That brings a lot of questions. Is this a uh, completely new character? Because this isn't a comic book character. Um, is this a completely new character that Matt Reeves is creating uh, that isn't connected to Two-Face or, or anything like that? Is it uh, a substitute for Two-Face, but they're going to call him something else? Because if that's the case, fuck this. Like, there's, I, I hate when they do that with films where, you know, like you take a character, but instead of keeping it with the same name and every, if everything, you just change the name for no reason. Uh, really doesn't work for me. Or are they just giving us this fake name and he's actually, he actually is playing Harvey Dent? I mean, one way to keep a secret is to piss off fans. And if it's pissing you off, I'm assuming it's, it's doing a good job. Yeah. Okay, all seriousness though, I, I, think, I think they're trying to like, well, like in wrestling terms, I think they're trying to keep Gorilla under it. They're just trying to like, all right, we got to probably like, it may be Harvey Dent, but they're trying to like, just keep it like under the, under the carpet right now. I mean, there's probably more stuff they haven't even announced that may be in the film. Other characters that we don't know. We still yeah. don't know if this is an adaptation of The Long Halloween or if that was just a rumor. Because it does have, we, it has several villains, but it doesn't have all the villains that are in that comic book. So it'd be, it's, it's going to be interesting. I'm excited for the film. Oh yeah. And, and Colin Farrell, he's looking interesting uh, right now, shaping up the penguin role. <laughs> he should have just cut the sides and gone for a slip back look. But no, he has to. All, all that's missing is just some like khaki, some new balances, and a polo. That's all that's missing. <laughs> that haircut, God. All right, guys, that's all we have this week for happy hour. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next week.